good morning to all i am uh, dr k sambath kumar professor department of agricultural engineering iit kalaina karnanidhi institute of technology in coimbatore tamil nadu the today's topic is the renewable energy resources uh, it's a most important and a very interesting topic we are going to learn the various types of renewable energy resources so this topic covers the what is the basics of energy how the energy conversion what are the different types of energy resources both the conventional energy resources and the non conventional energy resources so from the non conventional energy resources uh, the various uh, types of solar energy utilization wind energy bio energy tidal energy ocean thermal electric conversion like that uh, so many renewable energy resources we are going to uh, discuss uh, before entering into the core of this renewable energy resources as an engineer first we understand the, what is energy energy is the capacity to do work we all know that it measured by the joule and the basic difference between energy and power power is the rate of doing your work it is measured in watts the important law behind the energy is energy can either be created or destroyed can be converted from one form to the another form that is mechanical energy may be converted into electrical energy or some heat energy converted into mechanical energy or electrical energy converted into heat energy or light energy or sound energy maybe these are some few examples one form of energy is converted into the another form that is most uh, important law behind the energy so uh, the key point want to understand from this energy and the power energy is a capacity to do work power is the rate of doing a work energy the unit is joule uh, kilo joule or mega joule whatever may be the power watts kilowatt megawatt like that measured uh the energy is the ability to do work there are two types of energy basically the working energy and the stored energy from the figure we can easily understand what is the working energy as a human being you are we are working we are constructing the building destroying the tree whatever the work may be the working energy any other work like wind uh, wind energy like that anything it comes with the working energy some energy also stored in below the earth so we are using petrol diesel some uh, lpg from that we are also getting coal from coal mines we are using for the running the thermal power plants these are the some examples for the stored energy so there are basically two types working energy and the stored energy stored energy become working energy when we use it like a simple example a human being we eat food for the energy as a solid food or the liquid food food that food converted as an energy and it's stored in our body and it's stored until we used it for some other activities or the purpose when you work and play your stored energy become working energy now you clearly understand what is the difference between the stored and energy and the working 
energy apart from that we use working energy for growing our food bringing water to our kids ours and pots eat our what all our day to day activities warm our uh, homes clean dry light our rooms serve the entire, so many all our activities can use the our stored energy into the working energy apart from this there are various forms of energy based on this two classifications first one is the mechanical energy second heat energy light energy chemical energy electrical energy and the nuclear energy we are all studied so many energy things in our school days just we recall it and we understand the conversion of one form to the another form mechanical energy moving forces of machinery human animal power our all our thermal power plant transportation car bus everything comes under the mechanical energy for example heat energy take it we receive the solar radiation from the sun using our solar water heater in our home we convert that solar energy that solar heat into the hot water that is the best example for the heat energy so many different applications are there for the heat energy also from light energy solar light x rays uvs and what our day to day using hospitals everywhere using that light energy chemical energy all fuels the petrol diesel that stored in below the earth surface food storage of batteries are the best examples for the stored energy so the stored energy become uh, useful energy when we convert to the one chemical form to the electrical form another one is the electrical energy we are all using the <coughs> electricity from the respective electricity boards but basically understand how it's generated by various power plant like thermal power plant hydro power plant nuclear power plant so many uh, power plants so in the thermal power plant we are taking the coal from the earth surface using the coal for wiring the coal we will get the heat energy that heat energy using the heat energy we can uh, through the boiler it goes to the turbine from the turbine it is connected with the generator from the generator we will get the electrical energy the last one is the nuclear energy that we are also using for the electricity production and other few other purposes also using the atomic fission and the fusion you will get the uh, nuclear energy resources from this basic all six types of energy more, apart from so many energy resources are that this is most important apart from this there are so many energies are classified and we are also using day by day but these are the most important things we are using for our day to day life in any in one way we are using the energy uh, from any these types of classifications in our uh, day to day life so the better understanding of energy is very useful for all the engineers to save the energy and also saving energy itself it's an uh, equal to the production of energy uh, i hope this is an very interesting we studied what is energy power uh, units and the stored energy and the working energy and the different types of energy in this class so 
next class we will discuss about the electricity uh, production from the fossil fuel thank you thank you for your pleasant listening thank you